Welcome to Grimsby. This is the most dangerous town in Lincolnshire. What are you doing around here, lad? What? Fuck off, man. You're talking to you, lad. <laughs> Lads, you better go home and play on your Xbox. Go on. Oh, yeah. See you later. Ta da. You're messing, aren't you? These kids these days. What am I doing now, do you? Just because I've got this mad camera out. Was... Let them plod. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Heading towards Freeman Street now. 99.9% of the time, that's where all the kickoffs happen. I've just been told. You know, there's a few stabbings, hitting runs, drunk drivers. You know, not a major from what I've just been told. Like. So we're speaking to Keith Forenson now. Keith, he's a local and I've just asked him about like, what's it like? Because it's documented as the most dangerous town in Lincolnshire. What would you say, Keith? I'd say that's a load of rubbish myself, really. It's how you take it. I like it, I'm born and bred in this town. Yeah, well, so you're, to me, you're, you're a, used to it, aren't it's you? It's a normal everyday thing. So there's no problems, yeah. you don't see nah, no violence, don't, you don't nah. see no... No, no, just about everybody. That's it, really. So, you what gets reported is not true, people. is it? It's, it's, all, it's all gossip, what you hear. It is, yeah. People I'm walking around. A lot, it's quite, it's um, quite pleasant. Yeah. It's a little it, bit runs down, but that's that's just how it is, isn't it? Years ago, maybe, they were rough. The Grange, I'm from the Grange. Yeah. And that was a really rough area. But now it's... Well, it's, it's, it's an everyday thing for me now. Nice one. I take every day as it comes. Know everybody, you meet a lot of strangers in this town anyway. Nice one. From Liverpool, everywhere. Okay. Thanks, kid. Which means I struggle to speak, read, and write. What's your name? Paul. My Paul. Name is Paul. Nice, nice to meet you, Paul. Meet you. <laughs> uh, nice to meet you. Right, it's nice to meet both of you. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Grimsby Town Hall, or oh, Central Hall. Gary Baldy Street. That's a boss place to get that. I've got to stop down Freeman Street and asked by a gentleman who was doing a podcast what I thought I wouldn't be. And I said basically it's a shit hole. And that's me who's trending on YouTube. Why is it a shit hole in your opinion? Um, it wasn't that easy shit hole, it was just it was on about the food banks. Um about giving our beaten bags to Christmas and that um, not being consistent, that mean? People not getting the same. And they were saying, well, I got saved by one person and he got saved by another person. But meal of the day is meal of the day. Two sausages, mashed potato, peas and carrots. Don't mind if that person saves you or this person saves you. Meal of the day should be the same. But it don't work like that. It's if your face fits. Yeah, you know? so you, you yeah. felt like you were, uh, you were separated from yeah. someone else and made to feel different. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. But, um, I never got discriminated until I got these on my face. I had 40 and got all these on my face and had a midlife crisis. But I could be walking down here and there'll be two blokes and, and they didn't have these and they would not move. Yeah. And then a week later I get the tattoo, the same two blokes who shit themselves in the bum. Ah. <laughs> because these make you look intimidating, would you want even about that? Yeah. I just had a midlife crisis. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Stefan, thanks for your time, mate. No problem, mate. Well, I got out of jail um, for something I didn't do. I was on, on remand for two months, and because um, I've got no fair action, I've come out to just being released onto the street. And then what they do is they tell you to go to um, our place, day centre down there. You get there, and they don't know nothing about it, and then you, you've got to bring all these things up, and then they keep telling you to come back. It's You've got like a shelter there, but they only let so many people stay. Yeah. And Tony, yeah. you're 62, aren't you? Yeah. And you're on the streets, lad? Yeah. No. How long have you been on the streets? Yeah. And this is Grimsby, it's only a small town, isn't it? No, you think the, the community are shutting to support you? They've got about 20 or 30 people, and they like to keep it in the same circles. Yeah. Like once you get into homelessness, it's like they don't let you go. When you're on, you're on the streets, you're smoking crack, you're smoking yeah. gear, you're smoking... You know, he's having a pipe there, let him get on with it, you know what I mean? He's enjoying himself. It is what it is, I've been there. But you know what? Lads, I really appreciate your time, you know. Hey. Thanks. No, right. Thank and Tony? Yeah. Oh, hell, lad. I hope you get somewhere soon. I hope someone sees this and says, like, fucking saw you. Yeah, no, that means a lot. Yeah. Do me on for that. I was happy to be there, right? I had a girlfriend that wasn't allowed at home, so I stayed out of my house because I didn't want to hear back to mine. But anyway, I've done 20 years on there. It's so hard, eh? Uh, can't, yeah. get, can't get anywhere, can uh. you? You have to have an house to get an house. I have a thousand pound something deposit, right? Yeah. We go in there with that thousand pound deposit and we still can't get one, innit? Yeah. That's yeah. Because then you say you haven't got enough people that, that, that tell, tell the CV. Guarantor. Ah, oh, that's the next one, innit? I'll do it. They're going to hit you with hurdles left, right and centre. Every time you get a victim, you get another hurdle, mate. And that's what it's about. Shit, lad. Shit. This is the same story all over the UK. The people who are on the streets homeless. You know, they can't get anywhere. They've got the money. Then they need to get a guarantor. But then something else, you know, gets put in the way. So, they're forever just stuck on the streets, aren't they? That's the reality, like. You read all these reports that say this is the most dangerous place on the planet. This is the most violent area in the UK. Blah, blah, blah. And then when you get here, you know, it's not. Grimsby, as they say, it's get him up north. Thanks for watching and take care.